Welcome back to Airheads Radio Adventures. I'm Jason. I'm Katie. We're doing something a little different today in Impromptu. Where are we going? Cherokee Sink. Cherokee Sink. It's like a sinkhole. People swim. It's a long walk to get there. Crystal clear water is beautiful. I don't know if we'll get pictures though. So I'm going to take a walk. Katie's going to sit in the car. I'm going to bring along one of these, the ever popular Baofeng UV5R. And she's going to sit in the car with another one. We're going to see how far we can actually get through a bunch of trees. It's a one mile hike back. There's a park where you park at. And there's a one mile hike back to the actual sink. It's winding and wooded and um, shaded, most importantly. But it's only 87 degrees here, so it's not too hot. Woohoo! Yay! It's like a cool front. So anyway, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take you with us. So come on! All right, we're out here on the trail, Turkey Sink. Heading out here, it's just a gravel road. You can see all we have out here, as far as obstacles, is trees. Not many hills or rock outcroppings or anything. Katie's back in the car. We did a test on it, just uh, 20 yards up the trail. And we'll see what we can see here in a minute. Let me try one test here. KO4YGU, radio check. Okay, one thing I need to explain. The reason why we couldn't do this video before is because I don't know where the programming cable is for her UV5R. So, as is up, and she texted, she hears us. Um, when I originally got her her first HD, I locked it out so she couldn't transmit while she was still studying. And now, uh, I can't find the programming cable, so I can't unlock her transmit on her radio. So she can't talk back to us. Kind of lame, I know. But we'll see how far we can get. Sorry, this is uh, not the way I wanted it to go. But we're out here, and we're going to do something about it. North Florida. Make sure I'm looking down for snakes. See how far we are now. We're about 500 feet, I guess, from our starting point. <laughs> Let's check in. KQ4 JUI. This is KO4 YGU. How do you read? Again, I'm just waiting for a text right now. Aside from snakes, there are bears. She says it's clear. Okay, there are bears out here and fire ants and typical Florida craziness. Another thing I found out, and we were having trouble her listening to the audio. Um thought I had a setting wrong, but Oh, when I hold her monitor button down, again, Dolphin UV5R, when I held the monitor button down, I could hear loud and clear. But even with the squelch set to zero, and it's been, it's been a while since I chirped it, I don't know if I can like, go lower than that or if it's actually up in church and just labeled zero. Church. I say church. I don't know if it's up in church or just and just labeled zero i'm not sure when i find that programming cable i'll get it figured out let's try her again kq4 jui ko4ygu signal check still loud and clear Uh, I did have a ranger pull up. So the park's closing at 5:30. It's 4:56 now. I don't know if I can make it the whole mile and back and outside the gate before that happens. But hopefully we'll get some sort of degradation here. Degradation, degradation, degradation. Yeah. I have something worthwhile to put on the air. Be back in the booth. 
really busy down here in Tustin. A lot of people heading out. Must have been 20 something cars in the parking lot. Not a very big, I mean, it's a big sinkhole, but in terms of, you know, beach access or whatever you want to call it, it's rather small, so it's, it's a pretty intimate setting. I think the last time we came up here, we were just leaving and some girls were showing up and they were taking their clothes off, which is why I'm walking and Katie's sitting in the car. You know, not that I don't need the exercise, but I'm just realizing I could have left here in there left her in a beach chair on the side of some dirt road and driven <laughs> through a forest somewhere and gotten this done a lot quicker. Whew. All right, that's a half mile. KQ4JUI, KO4YGU signal check. Still loud and clear. KQ4 JUI, KO4 YGU, looking for a signal check. Oh, she's saying static. I'm looking at six tenths of a mile. Let's come up here into this clear spot. The answer is 0 0.6. Yeah, I know how far I've gone, Siri. Oh, another thing I didn't mention. Katie's got the UV5R with the stock antenna. Of course, I had one for this radio, but I upgraded it to the Nagoya 771. And I kind of wanted to do two stock antennas, then put the Nagoya on, check it out, and then uh, maybe a surprise at the end. See how that works. We're gonna. She's here in static, but she can still hear me. All right, let's, uh, let's try one more time. KQ4, JUI, KO4, YGU, signal check, please, ma'am. Are you talking? Okay, that must mean uh, the 771 and the Baofeng has gone as far as it's going to go. Let me try something different here. So I brought along the Ed Fong roll-up J-pole. See, I didn't bring any rope or anything. Let me just see how far I can stick this up in a branch. All right, I got it hooked up to the J-pole. Let me see if we get a better signal. KQ4, JUI, KO4, YGU for a signal check, please. Barely heard. Okay. Not really ideal here, but oh, I got it up about seven and a half, eight feet maybe. Um, I do have the extension, little mini coax here. And with a pole, I could probably get it up a bit higher, um, but I think this is all we're gonna see for today. It worked a little better. Okay, so what did we learn today? If I was to get hurt, I would hike in, <clears throat> or if I was lost, trying to find my way back to base camp. Uh, you know, I better keep my distance between seven tenths, eight tenths of a mile if I expect to be heard at all. Unless, of course, base camp antenna's got something up high, maybe one of those roll up J poles or, you know, some kind of mass antenna. Or, you know, if a bear scares me up a tree or something, I'm sure I could get to her. Again, she's just using that stock whip antenna. I don't have the Nagoya for her as well yet. And of course, apologize for the programming cable for Chirp is in storage somewhere. I'll finally get through it, through to it eventually. So she's actually able to transmit on her radio now that she has her license. Huh. Anyway, thanks for coming out, hanging out, taking a walk with me. We'll get back here and see what Katie thinks about this whole mess. Yeah, not like I look like a weirdo or anything with the selfie stick and the radio. Kind of look official. Anyway, you can click that like button, hit that subscribe button. 
look down below, you want to chip in for gas or something as a Patreon to buy me a coffee link. I'm sure to appreciate all the support from you guys. Well, I made it back. <clears throat> Katie's been holding on to that monitor button <laughs> the whole time. How you doing? <laughs> and I could hear you on um, some parts, but I could definitely tell it didn't go that far. No, it didn't. About seven, eight tenths of a mile. Oh, that's not too bad. So you made it all the way back to the sink? No, not quite. Okay. I have a little way to go. That's okay. You did good. Oh, we have a debate to be settled. What's our debate? We were walking through Publix today, which is a wonderful supermarket in the southern part of the region and they had Dos Equis beer on sale. Double X beer. Dos Equis. Come on. Dos Equis. Dos two X's. Equis. Dos Equis. Dos Equis. In the comments below. <laughs> Welcome back to Airheads Radio Adventures. I am Jason. And Jason told me not to talk. <laughs> I'm Jason. Okay. You gotta speak up. Welcome back, y'all. It's Airheads, right? Are you done messing with everything? I just thought the air should be lower. Okay. We're heading out to Cherokee Sinks. Uh, it's a trail. Sink, it's one a sink. sinkhole place. People swim and all. And it's Singular. A, one sink. Cherokee one, Sink Cup. One sink. And we're going to see how far we can talk. Thanks, Randy. One far. <laughs> Not far up. Singular far. You don't understand where that comes from. It's out here, um, just northwest, north, son of a, 